Hello everyone and welcome to my new channel that I will be calling Broke Boy Card Collecting where, as you can see, I will be opening up various trading card games. <clears throat> um, today we have some Crown Zenith packs I figured that we could start with. Uh, Pokemon is a hot commodity and always a very popular set so I figured why not start with uh, Pokemon and specifically this set. Um, this set has a lot of amazing artwork in it. Uh, very unique to this set and there's quite a few cards in here that I would like to get um, got about 50 packs here so I figured that would be a great first opening for not only the channel but just for a video in general and I uh, figured while the video is happening I can kind of just do some explanation as to kind of what the vi you know what my channel is about why I decided to do it and you know what to expect kind of coming along moving forward <clears throat> um, there might be some background uh, noise and I apologize for that I have some animals and they might be making an appearance throughout it as you can already see some cat feet um, anyway so I figure now that we got a little bit of that intro out of the way we can go ahead and get started now Let's go, pack number one. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. A little reverse hollow action here. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, I've been collecting trading cards now again since about late 2020, I believe. No, sorry. 2019. The first set I started to open up again was Yu-Gi-Oh's Phantom Rage, which was a fitting, pretty fun set to get back into collecting Yu-Gi-Oh, but just collecting cards in general. So opened a lot of those, and I got into Pokemon actually a bit more recently just because, as you can imagine with my channel name being Broke Boy Card Collecting, I don't exactly have a lot of money always to drop on packs, so... With Pokemon packs being a bit more expensive than, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, I figured that I would kind of have to wait if I wanted to be a part of that. Oh, little side note, love Volcarona, one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Uh, unfortunately, no hollow, just a common, but just a little tidbit, love Volcarona, super cool mon. <clears throat> but, yeah, so as I was saying... Uh, Pokemon is expensive, and I just always didn't have the money for it. So now that I'm in a different position financially, I have a bit more means to uh, buy Pokemon packs. And it's been so much fun. I mean, the Pokemon artwork is just phenomenal. I love it. They have so much amazing artwork. You can tell that the artists put a lot of heart and soul into the designs that they create. <clears throat> and actually one of my chase cards that I'm trying to get that I've been searching for for such a long time is actually from Lost Origins and it's the Giratina. I just think that that card looks so beautiful and I've <laughs> I have bought so much Lost Origins that I don't even oh let's go here we go radiant etern eternitus wow I love the radiant cards just the texture and the foiling and everything beautiful we'll take those just a comment behind it um but yeah so that giratina <laughs> 
I'm definitely expect to see Lost Origins uh, being opened pretty soon on the channel, to be honest with you. Uh, because I am going to open that one day. It will be mine. Uh, so let's see. Any other kind of <clears throat> info? Um, I got inspired to, to start the channel from other uh, YouTubers such as like Ruxin34, um, Pokerev. Uh, oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank on some of the other ones. Uh, Cyber Knight. You know, I've watched so many of their videos that I just absolutely... Ooh, now that's a good one. Wow, look at that. See, this is what I mean. Just look at this artwork. It's beautiful. It doesn't even matter if you play the game. Just appreciate the, the beauty of these cards. Phenomenal. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Inspired by other YouTubers. Um, oh man, there's one, there's one, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! tuber that I am drawing a blank on and I feel so bad because I really enjoy his content. Um, if I remember, I'll probably edit it in the video or just comment on it in a different, a different video. Uh, but speaking of that, you know, uh... Put in the chat what kind of sets you would like to have me open because half of this is just to kind of share the fun of opening packs with people. Um, I we actually my friends and I we do live streams in Discord for opening packs just between us. Um, as I was the the bad influence and I got all my friends back into card games again, <laughs> and so. We figured that we could share that process together. Um, and it's been fun, you know. So I figured also beyond being inspired by the YouTubers that I watch, um, I kind of got inspired by also the uh, the live streams that I would do for my friends. And that my friends would do. So it's been, uh, it's been fun, you know. And so I'm kind of, this is my first video ever uh that i'm just making in general for for youtube oh look at that that's a nice riolu card very cool very cool lucky bull corona card um but yeah so as i was saying first time making uh a youtube video and my first time ever having a channel and I just thought, you know what, I'm spending all this money opening packs, why don't I just kind of share it with the community, you know, people who are interested in this stuff, and, uh, you know, see what kind of uh, fan base and kind of community that I can either create or connect with to enjoy this, this kind of uh, part of the trading card world. Because just because you maybe don't play the game doesn't mean you still can't enjoy collecting the cards. Because personally, you know, I started with Yu-Gi-Oh! And I played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Don't get me wrong. My friends and I played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Both in person and... Oh, okay, a little greed interaction. That's cool. Nom 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 incisors. Hilarious. I do have to draw three cards. Um, <clears throat> but, oh, oh, that time I lost my train of thought. That's probably going to happen. I have a very bad memory, unfortunately. So I might get distracted by what we pull and then not remember what it is that we were talking about, or I should say I. But um, also put in the chat. You know, put in the comments like what was uh what got you into the trading card the trading card game that you first got into. Um, oh, I remember now what I was talking about. Um, you don't need to play the game of whatever trading card it is to enjoy it because 
while I started with Yu-Gi-Oh! and played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! both in person and on Master Duel, um, I just really like the Yu-Gi-Oh! artwork, too. Um, oh, Radiant Charizard. Look at that. So I had actually gotten 10 packs of, of Crown Zenith before ordering this 50. And they were from the little... Uh, tins that were like this big give or take and so because crown zenith is weird there's no booster boxes um and outside of tcg player you're not going to find individual packs it's only in like these special edition things you know so for example like the tins and those boxes where you get the big cards and like pins and the coins, what what have you. Um, that's the only t that's the only way that you can get them, which is unfortunate because I love getting booster boxes. It's just super convenient to just get in bulk. Um, but so I decided to get five of the tins to get ten packs, and I had pulled the Radiant Charizard. But we're not going to complain about pulling more Radiant Charizards. Oh, look at that. Okay. A little comfy action. See, this is what I'm saying. How do you not look at these cards and think that they're just not gorgeous? Well, that's kind of cute, actually. He's laying in a field. Uh, but yeah, so kind of what I was saying before but you know put in the comments what was uh what did you first what trading card game did you first start playing and then what set was it that you first opened and then you know talk about any of the favorite cards from that set that you opened up because we all have favorite cards from sets and like for me for example the card I'm trying to get the card I'm really trying to get from this set is a Husuian Zora Arc um, I am a big Pokemon game fan. I've been playing since the originals, essentially. So, uh, the Hisuian Zora arc, I just fell in love with immediately. Not only for it being the first of its kind in terms of typing with uh, Normal Ghost, but its design was just phenomenal. I loved it. And this card artwork in this set for Hisuian Zora arc is just jaw-dropping for me. I think it's... Some of the artwork that they made in this set is some of the best, like, card designs I've ever seen in my life, to be honest with you. <clears throat> but we shall see what happens. Uh, we still have many packs to go. I'd say we're just about to be maybe a fourth of the way done. But still much more potential to come oh oh look at that look at that that's what we love to see this is a beautiful card i was hoping i would get this i mean look who's all in there you got the needle rands cramorant uh you got some bee flies i think i don't think that's what they're called but uh you got your Guavent, Galarian Ponyta, Rookadi. I think, I think there's even more. Oh no, that's the Ponyta's tail. Okay, <laughs> but I mean, just look at this card. Amazing. Oh, and a Calyrex. Oh, it's Grass type. Interesting. Okay, a little Reverse Hollow action. We take those. But uh. But yeah, so an interesting uh, TCG that I actually opened up and had a lot of fun doing, which I'll probably do on the channel, to be honest with you, uh, is Attack on Titan. Now, I'm a big anime manga fan, um, and Attack on Titan is one of my favorite. Uh, it's The story is one of a kind. The author just created truly a... An amazing journey for everybody who partook in reading or watching it or both and so I saw that they made a TCG for it oh Scizor very nice love Scizor um, 
they made a TCG for it, and I saw it at my local shop, which, shout out to HE Games, Hero's Edge, if anybody is local McHenry-wise, McHenry, Illinois, hit them up. They have great products, and that's not even a paid sponsorship. That's just me saying that because I really love the people who work there and just being able to support local uh, card shops. But anyway, I saw the Attack on Titan there, and I just said, you know what, let's do this. And uh, it was really fun. You know, I had no idea what to expect. Um, it's made by Weiss Strauss. Oh, here's the kitty. Yep, as I said, he's he's my little guardian. He's always around me, so <laughs> expect to see him more. But the company is Weiss Strauss, and they are a very renowned and reputable uh, card company. So their cards are very quality. And you could feel it by, uh, by looking at them. You know, you could tell that these cards were definitely of a high quality. So, definitely thinking about ordering them in the future. Especially since, like, the images are almost like high quality stills taken right from the, the anime, which is amazing. haven't had anything really crazy yet, I would say. Nothing super big. We've had some good contenders. I'd say I'm pretty sure the best thing we've pulled right now is the Radiant Charizard. I haven't checked lately, but I want to say that that's still maybe a, over 10, 10 bucks, Over $10? Um, not too sure, but we shall see. Like I said, we still have many packs to go. Uh, we're still not even, I would say, not even really close to halfway quite yet. Okay. the dusk line love my ghosts ghosts are probably my favorite type in pokemon love the ghosts Ooh, okay reverse hollow hoopa very nice very nice it looks like the legendaries are reverse hollows in this set i don't know if they're the only reverse hollows but i'm i'm sensing a pattern here based on the three that we have opened uh, but, yeah, we need a bigger sample pool before we can say anything definitive, as the scientist in me would say. Ooh, wow, look at that. Ooh. Now that is some artwork. Good lord. That's a beautiful card. Sheesh. No idea what that's worth. No idea. We're gonna bring that back again. I mean, just look at that. That's so beautiful. Wow. Camera doesn't do it justice, honestly. But yeah, there we go. Got some Deoxys action going on there. I figured, you know, getting 50 packs would be more than statistically likely to get some good things, you know. Especially since uh, these don't, these, the set wasn't in booster boxes, uh, so I don't really know how like ratios would work here so
But yeah, also, uh, ooh, Drag Algae. Love this guy, too. Uh, put down in the comments what you think of the Crown Xena set in general. Do you think it's a worthwhile set to, to get? Do you... What do you think about the fact that it wasn't uh, <clears throat> printed in booster boxes? Do you find that this was better, uh, worse, just inconvenient? Let me know. Let me know if you think this set's worth to pick up. I personally think it is. I personally think that a lot of the cards are very beautiful in this set. Um, and it's not... I wouldn't call it overly expensive. I mean, last time I te checked on TCG, I think the set, the packs were, ooh, okay. Thievel. I think the packs were going for like five, $5.65 American. Um, not too sure. Obviously, things on TCG Player always changes, so I'm not too sure what this will be at the time of posting or just whenever you are viewing this video. Because uh, <laughs> things are subject to change at any moment's notice. Oh, here's another fun one. Um... Another discussion thing to but oh my goodness wow I guess uh, I guess this is the Deoxys packs look at that wow and I thought the last one was beautiful Whew. just gets better and better my goodness wow look at that oh and a Kai Kyogre behind it oh my gosh look at that Deoxys and Kyogre. Wow. What a pack. Now that's what we like to see. Um, but uh, the, the, the question, the debate beginner, uh, was what is your most prized card in terms of sentimental value and then what is your most prized monetary card so which card do you have that's worth the most uh, me in terms of card that monet like that means something to me um i don't know if i have a card any one card that means anything to me specifically uh that's something I'd maybe have to <laughs> answer another time myself, but... Oh, now we have the regular <laughs> foiling. Oh, looks like we have something behind here. Oh! We got the Mew. Look at that. Wow. We're getting our matches for our legendaries, that's for sure. So, what is your... So, monetary. Monetary one for me is definitely the Ghost Rare Dark Magician. I pulled that out of Ghost from the Past, the original, out of two and a half displays. I had got two whole displays, and I split another display with a friend of mine. And I pulled the Ghost Rare Dark Magician. I also managed to pull the Ghost Rare Black Luster Soldier. Uh, I can't remember what the rest of it is, but the Link Black Luster Soldier. And I sold that one because you boys broke. Oh, look at that. Suicune. Excellent. Oh my god, look at this car. <laughs> we are picking up and going with some gas now, my goodness. Whew. We're gonna have to do a recap at the end of all of it, but like it even has like normally the V cards don't have like the foiling like this, but this one does. I mean they have to. It's sweet coon. Um but yeah, so I pulled the Ghost Rare Dark Magician, 
and I haven't graded it yet, but I, I plan on it, and I think I got a 10. I really do, and that set was notorious for being very, very bad in terms of its quality control. Um, the the ghost rares having print lines all over them. Like, I feel bad for the people, you know? You gotta feel for the people who, like, pull them fresh from the pack and they just are already not even lightly played. They're just, like, heavily played because of just how bad the print lines are on it. Oh, look at that, a little Rotom. Very nice. Love this guy, it's a little mischief maker. Okay, here's a good one. Um, which form of Rotom do you like to utilize? Because uh, I believe he has a grass, electric, fire, water. Uh, there might be more, but those are the ones I can remember off the top of my head. But yeah, so that's another one to add down to the comments. What's, uh, what's your favorite Rotom form? noticed and gloom i feel like we're getting all of the same commons in these packs but hey you know what they're br look at this they're bringing us good luck though i mean i guess we can't complain just look at this How this card is beautiful <laughs> oh my god it's a crocheted snorlax dude these these <laughs> Oh, these artworks are hilarious on the commons sometimes. They're hilarious. Like, they have, like, the real-life, like, clay version ones, which just look freaky but hilarious at the same time. All right, after this pack, we are about halfway through. slow down a little bit too much heat and that last just <laughs> I don't even know like five to ten packs just a lot of, a lot of good stuff in that You know what? Not a bad duplicate to get. I'm not going to complain. This is a good looking one. Okay. might be this is pretty late in the video but I haven't even introduced myself which is very rude you'll have to forgive me but as I was saying at the beginning of the video welcome to my channel this will be called broke boy card collecting because your boy is broke but loves to open his packs so decide to open them up for the rest of the world I will be your host you can call me ace uh, figure keep it plain and simple and what better name than ace when talking about cards <laughs> no. 
another one. Oh, wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. I have no idea what this is, but neat nonetheless. I guess it's a reverse hollow? Yeah. Now I almost wonder how many of those of that just one Deoxys card we're gonna pull. Also, I'll be curious to see if we manage to pull any of the other big hit cards like the Giratina, the Palkia, uh, Dialga. Oh, the same Mew. <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to be mad about duplicates from this set just because the cards look so beautiful. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, I forgot about this card. Look at this. Oh man. Darkrai is one of my favorite legendaries. One of my favorite without a doubt. Wow. Such a great pull. I am so happy. So happy about that pull. Just soak that in while I try to organize things a little bit here we got Darkrai and Deoxys V-Star beautiful 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 let's see what else we can get still got eh, probably like Maybe just shy of 20 packs to go. I think I've ever gotten a hollow energy card. That's funny. Ooh, okay. Okay. I see you. Very nice. First V Max card. Looking good. I believe the high chase cards in this set, the Kiratina, Dialga, Palkia, I believe they are V Stars. So that's what we're looking for. Apologies if that wasn't clearly seen. Okay. <laughs> Stoutland, okay, wow. 200. I mean, even with the 30 damage, that's not a lot of damage to itself.
Shaman. For some reason, legendary is a common. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is what I was talking about. This is one of the top threes. And I have the Palkia already. That's amazing. Let's go. We got it. We got it. Oh, and the shiny ditto. Let's go. The, or the foil ditto. What a pack. What a pack. Just look at this card. Wow. They did not pull any of their punches with this. They went all out. This is what I mean by I think this set's worth it. Look at these cards. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And I mean, just the ditto, too. He Look how happy he looks. That was a great pack. Oh, my goodness. I mean, at this point, I'd be content with whatever else is pulled. If I could get my Zorark, that would be amazing. But I'm not going to be mad at this point. We've had some pretty crazy pulls. This has been a pretty great first opening, honestly. Um, you know, I've been enjoying this. It's it's fun to try something new. Oh, little Mary. Look at how cute that is. Uh, oh, and then you two. Look at that. Um it's fun to try something new, to put yourself out there in a new way that's maybe something out of your comfort zone. And uh, for me, this is more so just finally doing something that I said I've been interested in doing for quite some time. I've, <laughs> I've been talking about doing something like this for months, honestly, and you know, to finally just do it feels really good and to have uh, the kind of pulls that we've been getting is a good sign. We'll take it as a, uh, a good blessing on our maiden voyage. The Bidoof God himself. Oh, look at that. One of the hop or one of the sign trainer cards. That's so cool. I forgot about these also. So yeah, so apparently... Um, I could be wrong, but I believe the Galarian characters all have signed trainer cards. So Hop, um, Leon, uh, the Professor, I forget a lot of their names. I didn't, I played a lot of Sword and Shield, but only recently. Um, I otherwise have not played it. Uh, like throughout the whole duration of its existence and I've only done one playthrough so I'm very unfamiliar with a lot of the characters names unfortunately but definitely no hop After this pack, we're on our last little stack of about 10 to 12. So hopefully, we get some good stuff here in the last little bit.
Okay. Another little blast from the beginning of this of the video. Kyogre V. Well, now we have gotten a few duplicates and one triple. Um, it hasn't been too many, and it's ones that I can accept getting duplicates in. Not the end of the world. <laughs> well, that's four. Oh, man. I wonder how many we're going to get. <laughs> Before the end of this. Good luck. This is good luck getting the foil or Vesta. It may not have been good luck for the pack, but I have faith in the rest of these. Okay. A little blast from the past to the Alola region. The Alola region was definitely an interesting, uh, an in interesting region with the mix-up in how they performed uh, gym challenges or. Trials, I think is what they were called, instead of doing gym leaders. You know, I, I tend to be pretty lax and lenient with a lot of games and don't pass too much judgment and whatnot. I enjoyed it. I thought it's always, I think it's always fun when they try something new. Um, don't get me wrong, I wish that they didn't have to do something new every time and not keep mechanics that they had from past regions into new ones. I don't know why they feel the need to introduce something for one generation and then completely remove it for the rest of Pokemon's history, but Game Freak knows best, right? Pokeball. Okay, well, what are we at? We got... We got six more packs. Okay, wow. 50 just flew right by, didn't it, everybody? Six more chances to get either Giratina, Arceus. I forgot Arceus. Yeah, Arceus is in here. It's one of the main big ones. Or my Zoroark. Arceus would be pretty dope. That's a very, very good card in terms of its aesthetic. Great ball. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. What a great artwork. Got the whole crew in there. 
Wow, what a good mix of Mons in there, too. And there's my boy, his Sweet and Zora arc right there. Okay. Looks like there's still some heat in these packs. Still some heat. Gotta believe in the heart of the packs. Instead of the heart of the cards, heart of the packs. Look at that. I love these first line mons who have just these full artworks in here. I think it's great because they all look so adorable. Like anyone who's played Legends RC has probably hates Paris and Parasect now forever, but I still love Paris and Parasect and I think they're dope. Especially this card. He looks so adorable. And I would personally love to see a regional form for Parasect or a new evolution or something like that um, because Paris and Parasect are actually one of the few Gen 1 mons that has not had any kind of update to it yet so definitely long overdue definitely something that they could for sure have some fun with because um, Parasect is very interesting as it's the fish. It's the fungus on the back. That's actually the mon. Oops! Did a, a shout out to Ruxin. Did a Ruxin special there. Um, surprised that I haven't done it sooner. Oh, here we go. Another one. So we have BD. Great. I was actually really hoping I would pull this one because I think, I think out of all the the players uh, in the game, the characters, I like BD. He's he's really cool. Um, I love his kind of arc throughout the story, in Sword and Shield. But yeah, cool. Another trainer card. Sign trainer card, I should say. Alright. Two packs left. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we can end with some good cards. Let's give them something to write home about. I think that's the first time we pulled the digging duo, which is hilarious. Oh, wow, look at that. Very nice. Very nice. I just love the aesthetic of this rarity of these cards. And the foiling, too, just feels so good. Let's go. We take those. All right. You know what? So even if the last pack is not that good... At least we have that as almost our last card. Okay. Last pack magic, everybody. Let's go. Come on. Let's get something good here. Let's let's end on a let's end on a high note. Give us luck in the comments. Alright, let's go. Friends in Sinnoh. Oh, okay. Hey, we'll take that. Zarud. Cool. Alright, well, nothing super crazy to end on, but you know what? We still take those, because it's not guaranteed. But anyway, uh, let me kind of collect all of our big, big hits here, and we can kind of do a little recap, and we'll sign off from there. these okay. all right okay here we go nice thick stack so first we have Dialga V-Star then we have Zora V-Max Darkrai V-Star Deoxys V Star, Melanie, Radiant Charizard, 
Radiant Eternatus. Kygor V. Kygor V. Stoutland V. Mu V. Rotom V. Suicune V. This one's a great one. This one's really good with the nice texturing. Then our last Kygor V. Mu V. Ingredient V. And then we have our full artwork. So we have Paris. Pikachu, which just looks phenomenal. And then we have one of our four Deoxys cards. Mareep. Looks so happy. Our Deoxys, our Deoxys, <laughs> our Deoxys. Then there's Deancy, which looks great. Feevil. This one's pretty cool too. Almost looks like it's out of like a comic. Dust Skull. Looks nice. Simplistic, but that's good. Mew. Like Pikachu, has quite a bit. In terms of other mons in the artwork. Comfy. Riolu. Loon. Lunatune, which looks great too. And then back at our big guy, original form, origin form, Dialga V Star. All right, and that'll do it for today, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to the first video on the channel. Again, my name is Ace, and I'll be your host on Broke Boy Card Collecting. Until next time, everybody.